So if these are their hands, it'd be the left side. So let's just say left side. Over here, this would be the right side. So they're facing us. So that's their left hand. That's their right hand. This is the left side, right side. So right away, I like to do that right away, left and right. Um, next thing I like to do is just kind of uh, start with the basic things that I know. I know there's four chambers. And I know it goes I, here, one, two, three, four. Since this is on the right side, I know that the atriums are the ones that are collecting all the blood, and they're on the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and then write uh, RA. And label it right atrium. And over here is right below that is the right ventricle, RV. So the ventricles are always below. Right ventricle. Cool. And let's do that same thing with this side. Remember that the atriums are on the top. So I'm going to put LA, which is left atrium. I'm going to label that left atrium. And then over here, we're going to have right below it is the LV, which is the left ventricle. And now we have those. And just remember, atrium just means that it receives. So it's a, it's a receiving chamber. It collects. And the ventricles, vent sounds like ventilador, ventilator. To, to push or to pump. So a ventilador pumps air, right? So vent means um, to pump. So these pump. Just remember, a side note, if you dis divide the heart in half, there's really two pumps going on here. It's this pump, which is going to be to the body. And over here on this side, the right ventricle is going to pump to the lungs. And what would we want to pump to the body? Would we want to pump poor blood or rich blood? And we want to give the body good stuff. So let's pump to the body all the good blood. So we're going to talk about blood that is red. So we're going to say red blood. And this is where you're going to need your red color and your blue. I'm going to use markers just for today. And so I'm just going to label on this side red. The right side is blood that's returning from the body that already lost oxygen, so it's going to be blue. Now you're going to read an article. Part of your homework is to read an article to see if there really is blue blood inside the body or if that's just something made up. You're going to find out. So I'm just writing blue. And I'm use blue right there. Okay, cool. So now let's take a look here. And what we're going to find is that the middle of the heart is divided by this area right here called the septum. Okay. So I start off with my four chambers. I can do that. That's easy. And now let's start with the blood returning back from the body. So blood that's returning back is going to enter in two ways. It's going to enter from the bottom or the top. And I use the word superior and inferior to help me. So superior means top and inferior means uh, bottom. So superior up here, it'd be coming in. And we call that the superior vena cava. Superior vena cava. Vena means this is a vein. So let's translate that vein. And over here, this is from the bottom. Superior, um, inferior means bottom, so we're going to write this as the inferior. It's a vein, so it's a vena, like in Spanish, and cava. So blood can enter to the heart from the body through the top and the bottom, through these veins. Just so you know, a little side note, and we're going to move over here. A little side note is that, just remember this, the code. Veins means that blood is returning to the heart so they return blood to heart anytime you see an artery arteries send blood away from heart so just think of it this way veins 
return, just like in Spanish, vena. Your mom tells you, ven acá, come back, return, right? Artery, just the letter A is the same, artery away, okay. So let's start with the blood just dropped off oxygen. So it's low in oxygen and high in carbon dioxide. So we're not calling this our good blood, but our bad blood. And it's returning from the top and the bottom. So take your blue and let's make it return in here from the top. And let's make it return also here from the bottom. Okay. And it all will collect right here. You can't see it, but it's actually entering the back here. And here it just drops down in here. So let's just make it collect here. Here it's also going to go in through the back. You can't see it, but it'll enter it right here. And so let's fill it up with some blood. Let's put it blue right there. Once that fills up, it's going to then push this blood down here. So let's make this blood in here blue. And now it goes into the right ventricle. And now the right ventricle is ready to squeeze that blood. And it's going to squeeze that blood through here. And now we're going through, and here's, I didn't mention what that valve is. And valves are very important. So right here, this valve, since we're going um, to the lungs, and it's a valve, and lungs in Spanish is pulmones, we call this the pulmonary valve. Easy way to remember it. So the pulmonary valve. The um, tricuspid valve, right? Just making sure I got it right. Yep. So that's our tricuspid valve. Let's go ahead and put that there. So I'm just going to label that tricuspid valve. So it starts to get a little bit crowded here, but it's okay. You could rewind this video as many times as you want. And so now, again, return blood returns. It's, it's uh, not rich in oxygen, low in oxygen. It goes to the right atrium, drops to the right ventricle. Now we're ready to pump that. We pump that through this other valve called the pulmonary valve because we're going to the lungs. And now let's see where that goes. So now the pulmonary valve is taking us. And now notice that we're going away from the heart. Since we're going away from the heart, we're going to call these. Okay, so we're pumping the blood away from the heart. Anytime we do that, we say arteries, right? So these are pulmonary arteries. And so one goes over here to the left lung. And then another one goes over here. To the, actually, three of them go over to the to the right lung. So let's just label those again. Again, this one over here that would be your it's the left side. So it's a left pulmonary artery. Again, artery because the blood is going away from the heart to the lungs. And over here, this would be the right. And there's three of them, one, two, three. So they'd be calling the right pulmonary arteries. I'm going to squeeze this in here. So pulmonary arteries. Okay, cool. Now, the blood goes to the lungs, and we breathe in. We get an oxygen, so it we're going to call it red blood now. And then we breathe out, and we call it. Um, we're taking away the carbon dioxide. So now it comes back in a red form. And we're just going to use the red to show that it's high in oxygen. So just for a labeling purpose. Because as you'll find out in the video, is, re is blood really red or blue or what's the deal? So you'll find out. Okay, so now let's just say that it came back from the heart. And it needs to return back to the heart because we have good blood. We need a pump to the body. So let's make sure we go back to the pump, to the heart. So now it comes back red because it got an oxygen from the lungs. So we're turning back. And notice how we're coming back in through here. Coming back in here. Now the blood is coming back, but it's going to collect over here on this side. It's going to collect here in the left atrium. It's going in through the back and it'll drop in there. And so it'll fill up. So let's fill up the left atrium. It has some blood in there now. Take your pen, just fill in some blood there. And let's make it also drop down to the left ventricle and it's going to go through another valve and this is called the bicuspid valve so here we call it the bicuspid valve 
right here. Sometimes they call it the bicuspid valve, or sometimes they call it the mitral valve. And then it goes in and fills up in here, in the left ventricle. Now this is good blood. This is blood that is ready to go to the body. So now it's, we squeeze that, and it contracts. In other words, squeezes. And now the blood is ready to go to the body, but it has to go through the aorta, this big blood vessel. So let's outline that big blood vessel around. It's got to go through this. Now, it's got to go through a valve also. Remember what valves are. You'll, as you're, you'll find out in the reading, they prevent the blood from going backwards. And you notice that all these arrows go in a certain direction. We need to maintain that. If blood goes backwards, then we'll have blood mixing, and we don't want good and bad blood to mix. So let's go ahead and label this valve. Since it's going through the aorta, guess what? We call it the aortic valve. Not too complicated. And then make it darker so you can see what I'm doing. And it's starting to get really crowded, so I'll stick it in here. That's the aortic valve. Okay. And then it's going through the aortic valve, and it's going through the aorta. So let's label aorta, which is this big blood vessel. Now you'll notice that the left side of the heart is very thick. Look at all this muscle here compared to the left side. And that's because if the, if the left side of the heart is pumping to the body, I mean, we got to get this blood to your head, to your legs, to your arms, your organs. And so we need a lot of strength. So that muscle is much thicker. And since the right side is pumping just to the lungs, the lungs are just like right here, right next door to the heart. So we don't have to pump that hard, and so the muscle doesn't have to be as strong. Now we're going through the aorta, and then you see these little branch points. So some of this blood, you guessed it, is going to the head and to the brain, to the arms and the upper parts of your body. And notice it's going to curve down this way. Follow me. It's going to go to the back of the heart, and some of this blood is also going to go down to the lower extremity. So this is going to your legs and lower organs. And so because it needs a lot of force, this is the biggest artery here so that as all that pressure and all that blood is going through, it doesn't rip that artery. So that artery must be powerful and strong so it can handle all that pressure without rupturing. That's why this is the biggest, thickest artery in the body. And we're sending blood away, so artery, aortic aorta. Now we're going to the body and a couple things we need to mention and um, so I, I think I already labeled that and now the body is going the blood is going to the rest of the body it's going to drop off oxygen and then it's going to come back um, in a bluish color here because it has low oxygen and high carbon dioxide. So let's just follow that one more time for practice. <clears throat> 